Hello, and welcome to Brian360, and welcome to Cave Beach on the north shore of New Providence Island in the Bahamas. I'm conducting an experiment, and hopefully you can help me. You're watching the 360 version of this video, meaning you control the view. Up, down, left, or right, you choose. I will also post the flat or standard version of this video. Please watch both, let me know your preference, and leave me a message in the comments. Thank you. My son, who has acted as the scout for wildlife on this vacation, had called me over to see a stingray. I realized that it would have been more dramatic to just wait and allow the viewer to see what happens when this cloud of sand dissipates, but I figured you'd probably want to know what you were getting into before you clicked on this video. So there is a stingray in this cloud, a very large stingray. You can skip ahead to about 3.15 if you don't want the drama. I understand. We're busy. We all have things to do. But if you want to watch for a little bit, I'll tell you some facts about stingrays. So, what type of stingray are we looking at here? I think this is a chupari stingray, also known as the Caribbean whiptail stingray. There are lots of pretty pictures online, and they seem to match up with this type of, of stingray. I thought it might have been a southern stingray because it overlaps in range, but the shape of the snout and the wings are off a little bit. If you know a lot about stingrays and you'd like to leave a comment, please do so. Um, I'm getting all of this information off Wikipedia, and of course I'm not a stingray expert. This type of stingray lives in the southern Gulf of Mexico to Brazil, and also in the Bahamas, so there we go. I think we have our Chupare stingray or the Caribbean whiptail stingray. In addition to creating excitement and drama with this cloud of sand, the stingray is really just looking for food. By flapping its wings, it exposes crustaceans, mollusks, and other prey, which it will then suck into its mouth, which is located on the ventral or bottom side. So how big is this stingray? We are probably in about, I would say, 4 to 5 meters or 12 to 15 feet of water, just to give you some perspective. Um, this species can grow to uh, a reported disc width of about 2 meters or 6.5 feet. Um, I don't think this one is that far off from that. I think with the tail, it's probably about 8 feet from, from snout to tip. Um, so it was a pretty good size, and I was amazed. I couldn't stop recording this thing or watching it. I actually went back and recorded some more video of it. Um, a pretty impressive animal. I didn't want to get too close because I didn't want to bother the stingray, but at the same time, to be honest, I was thinking of Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter who was hit in the chest by a stingray and killed. Um, I know nothing about stingrays. I, I'm reading from Wikipedia that this one has a single sawtooth spine located on the latter half of the tail. And the stingray is about to take off. Here we go, kids. That's just awesome. I could watch this video over and over. And I have. And I encourage you to do the same. Um, it's just beautiful how it seems so effortless, how it glides along with a few little waves of its wings. And, um, and there it goes. And it's quite fast. I mean, this one will come around, so keep watching it. It'll slowly make its turn and come back and say hello again. Um, but later on, and when it really took off, I tried to catch up to it. And I was swimming with, with all I could with a pair of fins on, and I wasn't even close to it. So it does, uh, it does come back, as I said, and uh, you get a bit of a closer look. At the end of the video, I will take a deep breath and dive as close to it as I can. So, something to look forward to, I guess. Um, you might notice a few times there's a bit of a rope that comes into view. This area was, was roped off, and the stinger was just below the rope. So I'm holding on to the rope, moving it, trying to get further and further out. Without having a boat come along and take my head off, that would kind of be a bad thing for the vacation. So I'm I'm pushing a little bit, trying to get closer and closer to the stingray, but if it doesn't want me around, it can easily get away, like I said, no problem. I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I was recording this at Cave Beach. There's not really a lot of wildlife to be seen at this beach. There is a small coral reef not too far from where the stingray was, and my son was the one who pointed out a lionfish and a pufferfish. 
There are lots of other tiny fish swimming around that coral reef, but not really a heck of a lot at this beach. If you've watched the Pearl Island video that I've posted earlier on, where there are tons of fish swimming around, well, that's because they were fed. They were used to tourists coming around and getting handouts. Uh, not so at this beach, so there's not a, really a lot to be seen. The waves are not too rough at this beach, and you can walk out a fair distance without getting too deep. Please watch my beach walk video of Cave Beach to get an idea of what the sand and water are like. All right, I've yammered on enough. Thank you very much for watching. Please give me a like, subscribe, sign up for notifications and all that good stuff. And I'll let you watch the remaining bit of this video in peace and quiet as I attempt to get a little bit closer to the Stingray and get a better video. Thanks for watching. Take care.